Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared very easy problem for you. I hope most of you would be able to solve this problem on your own. So, um, as usual, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is a problem, suppose you add a 5' and GG, CC, 3' and primer. Show on the sequence below, first where this binds and second the new DNA generated from this primer. So uh, here is a sequence and there is two variants how we can use this sequence. The first variant would be 5' and G, G, C, C and 3' and and the second variant would be if we flip over this um, sequence, so rot rotate it uh, like this, so we would have 3 prime and here and 5 prime and here. Of course, uh, our sequence would be G, G and C, C. Some of you may think that there are two sequences here that uh, can be candidates for this primer to uh, bind and uh, here is the first one and here is the second one. So which one uh, would be the correct sequence to which our primer would bind? This is very easy to solve. If we just remember one rule that DNA strands are uh, reverse parallel. So if we have 5 prime and here, the other strand of the DNA would have 3 prime and here. If we have 3 prime and here, the other strand of the DNA would have 5 prime and here. And this is true for the primer also. So here we would have G, G, C, C. And this primer would have 5 prime and here and 3 prime and here. So the rest uh, full new DNA strands that we can make using this uh, primer would be uh, guanine with uh, base pair with cytosine, uh, cytosine here, thymine here, cytosine, 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 guanine, guanine, adenine, cytosine, thymine. So this is going to be our sequence that is going to be generated using this primer. And we gave an answer to both questions where this primer would bind and this is sequence to which uh, our primer would bind and we gave a new generated sequence for the new strand of the DNA. And uh, in order to solve such problems, you have to uh, remember that new strand of the DNA always grows from 5' and in 3' and direction. So this uh, top strand would grow in this direction and lower strand would grow in this direction. And the second rule that you have to memorize that uh, DNA uh, strands, two DNA strands are reverse parallel. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. If you have any questions or problems to solve, please post them underneath this video in the comment area. And I will give you an answer how to solve those problems or will make a video and will post a link to that video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.